Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. I am Laurent Bovet from uh, the Swiss Post. I work on many uh, different areas, um, and uh, from transportation to uh, logistics, made and so on. So we are going to talk about uh, REST APIs, and we, we do REST APIs uh, contract first, actually. And one of, one of the, the main reasons, actually, is because we collaborate on the design of the APIs, and we, we work together, uh, we want to have every stakeholder uh, on board uh, doing reviews and designing APIs. For example, here I have uh, an API for the recording the, um, the time of uh, employees. Um, <coughs> here, you know, uh, people need to, 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 to agree on the, on the meaning of the information, on uh, the, their types, on, uh, on constraint, on types, and so on. So this is an important phase for us, uh, the design of the API with different stakeholders making reviews. These APIs are provided by, let's say, microservices, and we have a lot of them, a lot of mi microservices, uh, and they expose, actually, through these REST APIs, they, ex they expose um, an a, a, mod a domain model, a model. And we want to, to have this model the most consistent as possible throughout the whole system. So that's why we strive to uh, reuse and to, uh, to um, have a common uh, patterns and, and, uh, and definitions. For example, here in the transportation area, the bus, the post buses, post auto buses, uh, stream through this API, uh, the GPS uh, position, and a GPS position is <coughs> uh, defined by coordinates, of course. So here we have a type definition for uh, the coordinates with uh, the description of uh, which model it is used uh, is used. And we have another API on a uh, related uh, domain, which is uh, gates, virtual gates on a, on a map, where we detect when vehicles are, are passing by. So here again, we define these gates with uh, coordinates. So we want to reuse the ex exactly the same type. So we need something that uh, allows us to uh, reuse type definition across the, the system. Um, <coughs> We also need to have these uh, API definitions or the API documentation, the generated documentation from the definitions to be part of our, um, of our uh, documentation basis. Uh, so we have for every API such an, uh, uh, an API page in our confluence with some structured data <coughs> about the API and links to important other uh, documentation and mostly this, this one, this is the, the most important one for us, is uh, how the API is used between the microservices. And we typically draw these sequence diagrams to show <coughs> how microservices uh, stream uh, information through APIs. Of on, uh, here we have an, a quite uh, higher level. And here and there, we have really uh, which endpoints are uh, involved in uh, in these uh, interactions, so this uh, this um, API pages also link to uh, to the microservices that consume and provide this API, and also very important the uh, review process uh, steps for for this uh, this API and linked with the Jira tasks for the for the reviews, and this applies to a frozen version. Of the of the API, also from the the API API uh, page uh, generated documentation itself in the in the comment, we also we can also link uh, to pages from Confluence, for example here to our uh, terminology and our glossary entry for a given uh, uh, term. So we have. Uh, these <coughs> APIs, actually, we want to base our documentation and our definition on Swagger. And actually, we need a bit more than Swagger alone. As you've seen, we want to, be, to have these things, the type definitions, the most readable as possible. And that's why the 
For example, here we have the Swagger definition, uh, or it is rendered per default, and we want to have it render like this, um, in, a, in, a, in a collapsible way of uh, boxes, and uh, convenient to read and review. Also, the type definition itself, we are um, we want to use some to have something more uh, program language level than the the vanilla uh, type definition, which is in uh, in JSON schema dialect. Um, that's why we use TypeScript to uh, define your, our types, and uh, so it is very well supported in many uh, of uh, our tools, tool chain, and so on. Also, something that is important for us is the dependency management. We want to know which um, uh, API is provided or consumed by a microservice. Uh, also, we read to the exact version. And also, when we use types across APIs, we also want to have a, um, a clear dependency that is managed with dependency manage management tools like Maven or NPM. <coughs> So all these things combined together, we have done an, an internal project, and actually now we, we have open sourced it under the name Apicana. And this is actually not a real big thing. It's just combining existing stuff, so Swagger UI, uh, uh, Docson for the box rendering, uh, the TypeScript definitions, and also code generation uh, in Java. So let's see how it looks like. Actually, you see that well? Okay. It's an NPM package, so you just have to install it uh, like this. You can install it globally. And you, um, you start an, uh, an API project with just uh, a call to uh, Apicana in it. And then you name your project. We use the uh, Apicana default global one. And then <coughs> here you package it, uh, for example, as an NPM or Maven module. Let's say it is NPM. And it has created a folder here. And we have actually um, already um, generated an example API. So here is the Swagger file with a pet store API as an example. And here, instead of type definitions directly in this file, we have actually a link to uh, model files that are here in TypeScript. And so, if I type app, you can start. It will gen just generate the base for uh, the, the UI rendering and uh, have my API here in the documentation, gener generated documentation. Um, now we can have a look at an uh, sorry, another example. This is, there's our two that I just prepared, but I prepared with the Maven packaging. So here I have a common, common uh, uh, API. It's not exactly an API, it's just types that I want to reuse across APIs. So let's take here uh, this category object that I want to reuse in another API. And I have removed the API definition here. I just have this type definition here. This is the generated POM file. So it's just use a parent to have all the stuff that is reused, the uh, group ID and so on. And from the other API that I where I want to reuse this thing, so maybe first I have to go and to build it. So this is a completely normal Maven install to, to build the API, or well, here, this, this type definition, because it does not have an API definition. So let's see, it has generated code, actually. So this is the generated code for my type definition, and Besides the, 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 the Jackson mapping for JSON, we also have this, uh, the, the constraints that are actually mapped to a J uh, Java valid validation uh, constraints. So you can reuse that. Also, we generate 
other things that generate the JSON schema themselves in different versions. So you can use tools for validation, server side, client side, anything that is able to to validate your uh, your, uh, your 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 objects. So now let's see. Let's say I want to reuse this type de definition in a in another project. So I have the same pet store as, as before here, but I just have to add a dependency to my common uh, project with with a which exports category and uh, sorry in my pet ts here i import from common category actually i just have to maybe install as well Okay, so it's done, and it should actually okay. So it finds it. So that we ha we have this this type uh, accessible in in the in the project, and it, ca it can be reused. So now, if I go to the browser, I should. No, no, it does not have worked. Let's try it again. <coughs> okay, so maybe just have to force close my thing. And also, in the meantime, we can okay. Here it is. I just have to refresh things from the previous example. Okay, and also here, uh, if we see the generated uh, code, it really imports from the other. Uh, from the dependency, the the the, the other type. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was it for the quick demonstration. Um, at the Swiss Post, we also provide some uh, uh, stuff in the in the in the API economy. Uh, for example, uh, it's providing. Uh, it's, it's, it's playing the role of uh, um, identity provider. So uh, websites, mostly shops, will have to uh, will want to to uh, to use the, the Swiss Post login for their uh, uh, customers. And most of it, most of of them will also use APIs to uh, to let the users manage their uh, address, so they are globally managed and not in every uh, website. So we are active in this in this area, and we also move uh, different products uh, into the REST APIs. For example, the Postcard Creator, which is quite popular, is now also uh, for partners uh, who want to uh, to let the users send postcards and so on. Uh, we move these kind of products uh, into uh, REST APIs. So that was it. Um, you can go to the Swiss Post booth. We have a, a quiz to win uh, uh, iPads and other goodies. And uh, maybe you have some questions right now.